Hey everybody, Carpe Suits with you, welcome, we're going to do the archives of five box number 11 right now, eBay style, come over this way, um, alright, well, let me go ahead and take that then, put it over here, yeah, see that, yeah, that's, that's like something that I would like to see. I that I, I, that I really want to talk to like my web guy about, and you know, what? let me put that on my list too. I I would like to get that changed. So that instead of using like the narwhal for like general type stuff, that like each break gets its own filler. But for us to set up a skew is kind of a huge pain in the ass for it so I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to Ali and see if I can find some way to like just those random like narwhal spots have like some break attached to them in the future uh Chris Fitz I did not I did not what did you hit Um, Doug Eyed, I think. I mean, I think it should be going out. Let's see, from last Friday or something? Those, those should have already been gone. Last Friday or Saturday, that's a hundred percent should have been gone. I will look into it. I'm gonna say I thought me and Jesse stuff that he did, I know. Ooh. Chris Fitz, congratulations. No, Doug I, I will look. I mean those I mean, we got nothing uh, sitting in there. Oh I know, Chris Fitz. I know, I know. No, that, that all should 100% be out. Like I said, there's, there's, I mean, essentially nothing sitting in, nothing sitting in here to be, to be shipped except for uh, what Jesse did yesterday. Doug, I, let me look. I will make a note. That would have been uh, number one and three box one, two. Yeah. I will, I will make, I will, I will look. Chris Fitz, I mean, that's beautiful. To be, I mean, to be, I don't know, to me, like, that is, like, the ultimate in breaking, is hitting, like, a PC card. Oh well, all right. I will. I will tell. I will talk to Jesse about that then, because that's just dirty. Well, Doug, I. I mean, unless you unless you bought into it with a like a filler spot. I mean, it sh you should have gotten like some shipment notification for it. But you know, I will. I just, you know what? It's, I think it's it's time to get real about some of this. Uh, some of this half uh, half force maneuver kind of stuff. 
that uh, that we that we've got going on. I don't know. Jess, Jesse got me all amped up today. Well, thank God that that uh, Kate AC got something nice out of that because he, I mean, he, I mean, he went hard in it. But I'm glad to see. I am gonna, I am gonna bust out the uh, the immaculate today. That thing's been sitting in the store long enough. Immaculate uh, disappears. As soon as uh, this is over, I'm going to put notices on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. We're going to get some people in here, and we're going to and we're going to make immaculate uh, immaculate go away, so that I can open it and see the gloriousness that is in it. But uh, dugout, I will look. I mean, hundred percent. Should have shipped, or 100% has shipped. But I will, I will find out so uh, what I can find out for you. <laughs> well, first times for everything. Now listen, we got a uh, flawless uh, collegiate basketball in the store. I only got one case of it. You know, so if you want to, if you want to get your uh, get your Luca fanciness in that, you know, by all means, I do. Uh, okay, done, done chasing. Yeah. It was a short chase, three products, but you know, it is what it is. He's a hard one, man. He's a hard one. I've only I've only seen three of his autographs, and I hit them in two breaks. How is he doing? I, well, you know, good for him. I was uh, I was a little worried that uh, that he may not hit the hype train. Damn, twenty a game as a rook and a European rook at that. Put a little muscle on him, get uh, get him angry for the American game. Home slice will uh, might blow this league. Hey, well, he'd be the new Dirk. I mean that's what I mean that's basically why the Mavs got him right to be Dirk 2.0. I just I wish I had time to watch basketball, kind of. Sometimes I do. Uh, I I don't know. What is Christmas on a Thursday? If Christmas is on a Thursday, then yes, I will probably be breaking Friday. Oh, if Christmas is Tuesday, then yeah, then I will probably make Jesse break on uh, Wednesday. Yeah. Okay, so I all right, so I need to break on the Wednesday after Christmas. Okay, I get for Christmas for you. I can do that. Just, rem just remind me as it uh, gets a little bit closer. But yeah, that's fine. I can do that for you. Contenders football is in. Is it the end of December? That seems hella late for that. I 
Listen, I, listen, I, I don't know. I look at, uh, at Blowout's release calendar, like, daily. But mostly for what's, like, a week or two ahead. I mean, I believe you. It just, I mean, it just, I don't know, it seems hella late. See, I mean, that's the other thing. Like, Panini and Tops like, push, uh, I mean, a lot of stuff out, like, in the fourth quarter. Like, I know it has to do with, like, some kind of financials business. You know, them, like, with, uh, you know, huge fourth quarter numbers because they, you know, put out a metric turd ton of stuff. But I believe, I believe it. I mean, it, I don't know. I mean, I, it's, I mean, I don't know. It's okay. To me, it's like smart if you've got like money to like blow on like unopened cases of stuff. Because like a ton of stuff will come out like in like November, December. So like the stuff that comes out like November, price I mean price drops. Case I mean if you're talking like buying like straight cases, drops case wise into December just because of the massive influx of product. Now if you're if you got like if you can sit on it come January, February when the stuff like when stuff is not coming out like the price rebounds and then you can you know sell it off for you know what it's like probable real value is but it's you know it's being able to sit on cases of stuff that are hopefully good enough to like let the rebound come up contenders basketball only got two only got two autographs a box that sucks Dude, I was a fan of the containers when it was six autos a box. That's where that's where my happiness was with that. I don't know that that I'm not the basketball. I'm definitely not happy about because it's still going to be a hundred and you know probably a hundred forty dollars a box or something. The only thing is like I mean with basketball, I think we've been struggling with it a little bit now because like I'm I'm hoping because like the like some of the rookies haven't had a chance to like you know like show themselves you know like kind of getting used to it I'm, i mean i'm hoping like by december like a bunch of rookies have you know actually a hundred well yeah yeah that sounds about right that a bunch of rookies have kind of you know made themselves known and like increased value but i mean two in a box of contenders that's that's harsh all right how do I want to do this? Kind of still got to look for the shorties. Wait, I think, is that? Uh, hang on. I think that's a short print.
Yep, that is a short print riot. Alright, there we go. Yeah, Prism, I am tomorrow maybe gonna kind of try and figure out how I want to do it. I mean, because it, I don't know, I mean, it, it, it looks kind of like now that, I mean, you're looking at basically like $99 a random team in a full case. I, I kind of don't even want to uh, look at, like, what PYTs would be. Like, I think I'm just going to try and try and do it random teams. But I don't know. Hey, Jose Mesa for the Indians. I know Prism is just like way out of control, way out of control. But I'm thinking, I'm, I mean, I don't know. I'm leaning towards doing like half case random teams at like 50 bucks, and then maybe doing like two box random divisions, where like one person in that break wins a division, and like in the next one. But I got I got to do some uh, math to see if I think that that's even uh, even realistic. Hey, uh, Reese Hoskins, uh, rookie to twenty five. I mean, I don't. I get. I just. I worry about it every year. Because, like, I mean, last year, like, I, I didn't even see it. Like, Jesse basically sold it all in a day. Even as expensive as it was. So, I just, I don't know. I mean, I hope it continues. For my sake, because I, I don't want to be sitting on prism like a like a like a doof ball. Yeah, I mean, Prism, I mean, it's almost, it's almost, three, it's almost $300 a box. It was like 288 or something the last time I looked, if Blowout even still has, uh, still has it available. Christian Yelich, MVP, of course, formerly of the Miami Marlins. Cut them loose, and they, and, you know, and they win MVPs, much like uh, you know Buccaneer players. Hey, Homer Bush. Yeah, that's that's the other thing. To, you're absolutely right, Jay. Because like I don't, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna have retail of it uh, this year too I think got a uh, squints auto it, I don't yeah I mean I wish this was not being recorded but I am almost worried that they just that they're just gonna produce like a living crap out of it And sit sit back on a bunch of it and just you know wait for the price to go you know stupid crazy and then you know then just then tag it out but I don't know we'll just have to wait and see
That's, I mean, listen, I mean, we didn't get very much of it. I mean, I, it's probably more because the base is getting all of it, but. I mean, we, we are, I think we're only getting like five cases of it. With the potential that if we, you know, do, you know, well on it, we maybe get more, but I'm, I, I'm only expecting to have five cases of it. One thing that Jesse is like, just like balls interested in doing, and I, I'm, I'm not a fan of it, but I'm willing to take some feedback uh, from you guys on it. Is doing like where like we kind like we where we've been giving away like break credit or something for hit lists or, you know, spots for hit list kind of deals. Like, he wants to give away boxes. Like, would you be more inclined? A uh, Lewis Castillo. Dude, this uh, this guy probably doesn't... Probably has Carpal Tunnel right now from how many autographs he signed. Like, more inclined to buy, like, let's say, a crappy team and a break. Hoping to go hitless to get a box of uh, something rather than... Like break credit, but I mean, he's talking about like like trying to do like trying to give away boxes of like prism. which to me almost sounds insane. And I met Rosario to uh, ninety nine. I mean, I I, I mean it's not. It, it's not that it's crazy, it's just the amount of dollars that it's going to add onto a break spot is what what, Murray, what, what worries me. Uh, Chris Fitz, I like it. I mean, they straight off, they straight up ripped, ripped off the uh, Miami Heat's like vice, you know, deal. But I like it. Now right, we got a Bernie Williams. Gray back uh, variation for the Yankees. I mean, it's not going to affect me buying anything. But I do like it. Now, I mean, if if I can convince, you know, some high-level players to uh, come in based on the uh, niceness of the, uh, you know, New Jersey and stuff, then I am all about that. If, if fashion choice has something to do with... Uh, With free agent acquisition, then I'm then I'm all about it. Yeah, that's, I mean, Jay, do you have any idea if they're going to do it like they did football? That, they're, that there's, if there's one, like, one silver per, you know, per, you know, per case, or per box, I mean, sorry, per box. Like, that's, I mean, that's going to affect some things. Yeah, no, I mean, a, a full case random teams... Is is going to be, you know, somewhere along the, you know, somewhere along the lines of like a hundred bucks a spot. Uh, 
Base rookies, Jonathan, we generally sleeve like the top like ten like ten players. Every single one, no. But we have like a list of like ten. Uh let's sort it at 175. Yeah, yeah, from the Sandlot. Yeah, see, Jade. I mean, this is something. Uh, this is something that I got. Uh, I gotta. I gotta figure out. I mean, because it seemed like a good idea with football, kind of. But I mean, the fact that you know, maybe if they had only only done rookie silvers, and not you know like you know base silvers, maybe. But the hitting of a decent silver, like turned into like an impossible task. Hey, Jeter. Rookie draft picks to 150. First one I've seen of those. Well, Chris Fitz, I know. I mean that's what I that's why I think we're just gonna just gonna sit on the random teams and not even worry about trying to do I mean, because I mean, dude, I mean the case. I mean, case like it's like three thousand dollars a case. It's 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 more than flawless. You know, so I mean, so am I going to charge eight hundred dollars for the for the Mavs? You know, and hope hope somebody buys it, or just go random teams. And, and if it, if random teams works, make less money, but just you know, let it let it be. Uh, father like son. What's who? You told me you had the Falcons in Phoenix. Was that who you had? A uh, Rich Aurelia. Dude, Bates is doing like uh, like ten spot, you know, like co combo team stuff in uh, in Prism. I think that's been a great back, and it is a uh, Warren Spawn for the Braves. Venezuelan and grayback variation.
Father like son, is that did you have a, did you have a spot in one of those breaks, or do you, do you have a spot in any break that I, that I'm doing? Because I I have I I happen to have hit. Uh, one of the squints and the yayas in another break like that uh, or like some boxes that I, that I got into that if you've got a spot in something that I'm doing I will uh, I'll send you the card Uh, Bruce Sutter to uh, 175. Jade, you know what? I mean, it's interesting. I don't. I mean, what would you, what would you sell the Lucas spot for? In that, is like would be like my only real question. Because I don't even know what the uh, what they have, like what what the maps have beyond Luca. A uh, Gary Pettis for the Angels to uh, 99. Hell, for that matter, I mean, I wonder, you know, I mean, since we're just spitballing here, what, like, a player break of uh, a prism would, it, would end up looking like. I get some more top loaders. I mean, you'd have to have like payment before break kind of deal.
Okay. Josh with a snake draft. Oh, no, that that would be. I don't know. We'd ha we'd have to have. I mean, everybody here, which would be kind of problematic. I mean, I like the idea of it if it uh, if it was something like in room and f and fast. You like your snake drafts though too. I know that. Uh, Xander Bogarts to uh, ninety nine. Clark, the thrill to 175. I don't know, I mean, that seems, I mean, I don't know, to me that seems like more eBay kind of style. Like, it would, it would, uh, I mean, it would be so hard for me to price that out. In the store, it's, I mean, interesting. Doing on eBay, like I mean, I would, so, I would be so nervous about non-pays and chargebacks. I mean, it is terribly interesting. Terribly interesting. I wonder if I could just do like a just just all all five cases, all five cases, random teams, re-random after every uh, like six boxes. This one's unless I miss another one. That's that Harper's base. But 
The Harper SP is in, his, in a white jersey. SPs in a in a white jersey. Okay, no, I do, no believe, but Jonathan, a hundred thousand percent. Tell me if you think you if you think you uh, if, if you think you see something, because I mean I I mean I, the the picture SPs like I'm going by memory. The other ones like are pretty easy to pick out with like the no names, the backs and stuff. But but please, always, 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 always. If you think if you think you've seen me miss something, tell me. A hundred percent, a thousand percent tell me. Hey uh Derek Lowe. I mean I I literally even keep up behind on the on the monitor behind me. The list of players that have short prints and the pictures behind them, like so that I, like so that I remember. Uh, Christopher, I mean, not a ton. We we have some like the Rip City cards. eBay has some. I mean, stuff that comes out of like these breaks. Not really. A, a small few that come out from people that have not paid for their teams. But, I mean, Rip City cards on eBay. Uh, let's see if this has... If this has what I would want to see. I mean, this kind of has like what we have for sale in general. If it, if the link will work for you. Yeah, I got a I got a lot that I need to uh, get up and just not uh, had real time for it. But I mean, I don't know. There, I mean, there's a various number of uh, weird bits and pieces there. to go through. I'm going to get these rookies off to the side. Get them out of the way. Batting is the one. A Derek Lowe. For the Red Sox, autograph number 25. Most of those grayback variations show up like kind of half like by themselves. So those are like a little bit easier to see.
That's a uh, Robles to uh, 175. not I mean I've seen I mean I think at most like five variations in, a, in, a, in an entire case and so we're already a little bit above above the average for this half that's what makes it so tricky like I mean you gotta be careful with it because the variations are where all the dollars are at some reason like going through this like you can kind of blur out a little bit like there we go there's a uh, no uh, no auto variation for uh, the Ryan Zimmerman of the Nationals One I haven't seen it in a in a case and a half has been the uh, top hook logo variant. Okay. And we have got autographs for Derek Lowe of the uh, Boston Red Sox. That one is to uh, 25. Got the uh, Gary Pettis of the Angels to 99. Got the Louis Castillo of the uh, Miami Marlins. The uh, Homer Bush of the uh, Yankees. Of the Mesa Indians. Uh, Ryan Zimmerman, not auto, but it is a no auto variation for the Nationals. A Pat Neshek for the Phillies, a Derek Love for the Red Sox, a uh, Warren Spawn uh, Grayback uh, for the uh, Braves, a uh, Rich Aurelia for the Giants, Bernie Williams is a, another Grayback variation, Venezuelan variation as I believe it's called for the Yankees, uh, Chris Bryant is a uh, picture variation. So, thank you everybody. We'll get us right up to you.